the contentious a Japan royalties deal remains a matter of unending debate as both the majority and minority in parliament are entrenched in their positions. Now speaking on PM Express with Evans Mensah, the ranking member on the finance committee in parliament, Cassio Atuforsen, indicated that government's failure to rescind its decision is a clear attempt to shortchain the country when it gives out mineral royalties worth over $1.7 billion in cash flows to a company that's worth about $1 billion. And disappointed, disappointed with the government by the day. Look at the budget statement. If we were to look at the budget statement, for instance, the media review, page 111, it tells you how much you are getting for mineral royalties. In fact, it gives us exactly how much we've had from mineral royalties for half year. Mm. And going on to the next year, how, uh, by the end year, how much you are going to get. They are saying you are going to get approximately a billion Ghana cities. Yeah. The same government is telling us that in the course of a year, they are assuming that you are going to get 150 million US dollars per annum for the purposes of mineral gold royalties. That 150 million US dollars, they are saying 75.6% of that amount will be used for the purposes of the collateralization. Okay? So it's going to be given to Ajapa. Yeah. 75.6%. So that 75.6% approximately amounting to 113 million US dollars. So 113 million US dollars, even if you decide to uh, 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 look at the cash flows in perpetuity and give it to this at the discount rate of 5%. It gives you some estimation around, we are looking at something in the region of about 3.7 billion US dollars per calculation, using a discount rate of 5%. Now, if I decide to come and say that I'm, I'm, I'm using 15 years, 15 years, okay? Just the government is saying, because I've heard the deputy minister also say that they later on considered that they're going to use 15 years, the lifetime of the mineral royalties, uh, of, of, of a gold mine. Even on 15 years, you're looking at 1.7 billion US dollars. So if government tells me that it's going to, the value of the business uh, of, of the company called Ejapa is going to be a billion. As a member of parliament, I should be able to interrogate the one billion because they are going to list 49% to a private individual. And I expect that that private individual pays the people of Ghana a fair price. Other than that, they have shortchanged Ghana. Now, on this part, the chairman of the Minerals Income Investment Fund, George Mekuduka, insists the deal is the best for the country to make some revenue from its mineral deposits. According to him, Ghana has nothing to show for as infrastructure from its mineral deposits over the years. If he could point out one tangible project that we have done in this country out of our royalty. Oh, come on. What are you talking about? No. I will, I will, I will in a way, comment and just leave this transaction to stand. That's, that's, but mm -hmm. if we cannot have anything to show out of our gold proceeds, out of our revenue stream, and now there is an opportunity for us to ask questions as you are asking for the first time of our gold royalty in this country. And we are going to list such a company on the London Stock Exchange and there are procedures to follow and of which you've not flouted any law. And you tell me because you've not seen the valuation now, of which you'll be, you will see it going forward. As part of the measures of getting it listed, you need not to make the prospectus public for now.